Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, what a beautiful word is this, song is this, hallelujah. <clears throat> Hello, my dear friends, uh, across all of the world, especially in the United States of America, in South Africa, in Europe, in uh, Australia, in India, hallelujah, all over the nations. We greet you in the mighty name of our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Our Redeemer, our King, our Lord and our Savior, our Deliverer, our Healer. Friends, today, you know that I was uh, awakened by the Holy Spirit in the morning time. And uh, while I was keeping meditating the word uh, over midnight or uh, until the early morning hours of today, could be a 1 to 2 a.m. in the morning, I was meditating the word. The Lord, the Holy Spirit wants me to focus on the word of God especially to release or uh, to spread or uh, to scatter this word as a seed into the grounds. Hallelujah. Uh, I just wanted this word of God should fall in good ground. Hallelujah. Because you know that uh, we don't like the, uh, the, 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 uh, the way the way ground or uh, the road ground, the, the rocky ground, or the thorn ground. We would love the good ground for a greater harvest, for a greater harvest. I strongly believe that the United States of America is receiving or reaping the harvest right now because they have shown greater, in a greater way the seed or the word of God into different countries, into Asia, into Africa, into Australia, into Europe, into many, many nations. Hallelujah. So my friends, today, I strongly believe that God is with us and we are under his leading uh, and uh, 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 we, are, uh, we are under his anointing of the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I am <clears throat> uh, under control of God. You know that these words are not 
my personal words. These words are not from our family. These words directly comes from the heaven and from the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You all have to listen to this. You have to hearken. You know that uh, <clears throat> they shall hear that those who have the ear. That's what the, uh, the Lord is speaking. So today I am much eager to uh, minister unto you all with the word of God and uh, in the anointing leading of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Anyone can come and join with us in this live broadcasting, in this show meeting. Let us turn your Bible unto the book of Mark chapter 8 verses 31 to 33. It's just like this. I'm reading from King James Version. Okay. And he began to teach them that the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days Race again. And he spake that saying openly, and Peter took him and began to rebuke him. But when he had turned about, looked on his disciples, he rebuked Peter, saying, Get thee behind me, Sharon, for thou savest not the things that be of God but the things that be of men. I'm just liking to reiterate that, uh, to reread that uh, verse 33. But when he had turned about and he looked on his disciples, they were James, there were uh, There were James, there were James, and uh, uh, <clears throat> there were, uh, there was James, there was John, there was Andrew, there was, uh, there were, there were many uh, disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, but um, um, while they were with Peter and with Jesus, Jesus rebuked Peter, you know, Jesus rebuked Peter, why? This is, you know, that a very important note for all of us to learn so many things from this word of God. We are learning God. Hallelujah. Does God hate his disciples? Does God hate his people? Does God scold his disciples? Does God, uh, you know, that uh, you uh, uh, are, uh, you know, that um, rebuke? His disciples. What does the real meaning of the Lord's emotion were over there? This is very important for all of us to uh, know. He 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 rebuked Saturn. In 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 the that working in the life of Peter. <laughs> Actually, Peter was not sad. Kumar is not sad. Are you personally that who are watching right now? You are not sad. We are not made in the image of the demon or the devil or the dragon or uh, uh, the shadow or the thief. We were made in the image. And we were made in the likeness of Jesus Christ, our God. In the in the image and likeness of the triune God. Actually, we are spirits. 
existed in a body. This body, you know that we have spirit being, soul being, and the body, human, human body being. When we die, this body goes. This was made by dust. Our body was made by dust. But our soul and spirit were not made by the dust. That is, with the, they are just, just returns to the heaven, and the dust returns to the earth. That is why this body returns to the earth, dust, and the spirit or the soul, you know that they will go either into the heaven or into the hell. There is no third place for the soul to be existed. Hallelujah. So that's very important. Actually, let me pray. Let me pray and go with this uh, scripture uh, message. Hallelujah. Father, God help us. Father, give us your revelation knowledge. Holy Spirit, work in our lives. Let the people receive this word of Lord. In the name of Jesus, so that we all can learn God, learn Jesus. We all can learn and grow in the knowledge of the Son of God. Holy Spirit, open the heaven of Lord and open the book and give us the voice from the, uh, from the heaven of Lord. Hallelujah. Because they are, these are your words, O Lord, not our personal words. These are the words of the Holy Spirit. These are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. These, these are the words of God the Almighty, our Heavenly Father. So that people can understand, help Holy Spirit, help them to listen to this word and to receive this word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that the nations can be impacted. We give you all glory and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So my friends. Here. Let us talk. About. Uh, Jesus and Peter. See this, why Jesus rebuked Peter like, a, like, he gave, uh, like he gave a very strong, very strong caution, very strong warning, just like he rebuked, Sharon, get behind me. He, he said like that. He did not say Peter, get behind me. He did not say like that. Sharon, get behind me. That's what his expression, that's what his emotion over there when Jesus rebuked Peter. So if, if we were in the place of Peter on the time, we will be hotted. I can understand the heart of Peter over there. He 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 could he can he 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 can be hunted over there when Jesus rebuked Peter. But let, he could not understand why Jesus rebuked him. He don't, he don't, he, 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 because he is, he, is, he is in the knowledge of men, not in God. That's why Jesus was speaking to him. You are, thou sourest not the things that be of God. That does mean you are not thinking or you are not understanding about the things of God. About the things of God. That's what Jesus was talking there. He could not understand. He did not understand that. Could. 
he 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 has an understanding of man's knowledge what he was what jesus was speaking over there you know that jesus was speaking about his sufferings that he has to face his death that he has to face his resurrection that he has to face hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus what he is talking about with peter and with his disciples and with all the people who were there about his sufferings about his death and about his resurrection he is talking about his cross he is talking about his cross his life of cross his his crucifixion that is why when when jesus wants to uh, then when, when jesus begin to speak about his sufferings and uh, about his uh, death and resurrection about the life of uh, his cross saying or uh, the devil or the demon or the deceiver or the thief or the dragon or the serpent do not like jesus to talk about his cross you know where the satan has been defeated satan has put into the shame satan has been defeated at the cross of calvary when jesus hung on the cross and has shed his precious blood for all the sinners for all this world for all human beings then shan satan did try to stop jesus for not going unto the cross that's the strategy of satan that's the plan of the devil that is why the devil came to the lord jesus christ and <coughs> tested jesus in the wilderness when he was in fasting prayers but jesus overcame the devil over there and the devil has fled from him has left him in the wilderness and the angels of god angels from the heaven descended came to jesus and ministered unto the lord hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus for that and uh, and and uh, on that particular period of time satan offered jesus a crossless life if he worship him if he bow down unto him he wants to live every glory of these kingdoms unto the lord but jesus denied said it jesus rebuked said it jesus answered said it like this it was written it is written it is written it is written it is written see here look from the book of luke fourth chapter and uh, verse from 5 or 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 on words something like okay ah five and the devil or the demon or the dragon or the deceiver Uh, the serpent or the serpent okay said unto him all this power will i give thee all this power and the glory of them 
all the power and the glory. All the power, yes, this is what we have to talk on Saturday, okay? All the power will I give thee and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. <laughs> that was delivered unto me. He has no power individually, but man has given unto him by making sin against to God. And uh, that's not delivered actually, that was a stolen authority. That was stolen from a man. Satan has stolen the power and the authority. But given the power and the authority was given by the Lord unto us, the church. Hallelujah. Puri Bhava Rashanda Rara Mamala. I will give thee and thy glory, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, I give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. That's the tempting, that's the testing. That's not the testing, but the tempting for the authority, for the powers, for the glory. If you worship me, I will give the power and the glory of these kingdoms. Hallelujah. Of these kingdoms. Hallelujah. That's what the devil, that's what the devil offers unto the Lord Jesus Christ, which is a crossless life. Satan do not like Jesus to go into the work of the kingdom of God and to build the kingdom of God on the earth. So the big kingdom was the kingdom of God was built by the blood of Jesus Christ. Until that, that King Jesus said that the kingdom of God was at your hand, was within you. And uh, 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 he spoke like that. But that the kingdom of God is near to you. Is near to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my friends, Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for bringing the revelation. Hallelujah. That's why we have to go into the nations to speak the power in Jesus' name for salvation, for healing, for deliverance, for uh, the forgiveness of sins, for the remission of sins, for the eternal life. And the glory of Jesus Christ to these kingdoms. We are just sending forth and introducing and telling about the power of Jesus and the glory of Jesus in these kingdoms. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, my friends, uh, we have to go move forward, okay? Jesus overcame Satan, answered Satan by the written word of God. Hallelujah. Here, Peter do not understand about the emotion or the expression or the words or the meaning or the things of the Lord, why the Lord rebuked him. Why the Lord rebuked him? You know that when Jesus speaks 
about his sufferings, about his, uh, uh, about his death and resurrection. Satan do not like to hear that. Satan do not like to hear that, my friends. This is true. This is absolutely true, my friends. That's why when, when, uh, when Peter rebuked Jesus, that's why immediately he rebuked uh, Peter. Satan, get behind me. Those are not the things that be of God. You don't know about the things about about the things of God. You are not understanding the things of God. Why? We are not understanding. You, are, you did not come in understanding that what I am speaking here, what I am preaching here, what I am teaching here, what I am ministering here with the world. So many people do like Jesus. So many people do love Jesus. So many people do worship Jesus. But a meaningless attitude they have still add for not knowing the Lord, for not knowing the things of God. Listen. We have a responsibility for understanding the things of God. If we don't understand God, then how we can we worship Him? We should know the plan of God, the purpose of God, the will of God, why He gave unto us a great greater vision high calling and his anointing, his faith, his promise, why he died for us. These are very important. You know, we have to tell the plan of God to this world in his son, Jesus Christ. That's what we have to do, my friends. That's what we have to do. Otherwise, there is no meaning to know about the Lord, to worship the Lord, to, to, to love the Lord. Everybody can love. Even the others, even the drunken people love Jesus. When they see a temple of Jesus, a church building, and when they see a cross, they, 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 they worship the cross. Even the Hindus, even the Islamic, even the non-Christian people, they worship cross, they worship Jesus. They say like this. They say like this. What is that? Their expression, their emotion, their feeling on Jesus, that they believe Jesus is God. And they do respect. But they Worship the Lord by not knowing the things of God. Oh, the plan of God and the purpose of the will of God. Why do you worship the Lord? Let me have reasons. Worship the Lord by understanding the things of God and the plan of God. This is what's so much important today, my friends. This is very emergency to the entire church. To the entire church. Hallelujah. Today in this world. Today in this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. That's what, you know, 
let us talk about what Jesus is speaking here. He is speaking that he must suffer for many things. And rejected of the leaders and of the chief priests and the scribes. This is the first word that he has spoken there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was talking this in the town of Caesarea Philippi. See here, that was telling here. And Jesus went out and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And by the way, by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Eliza, and others, one of the prophets. And he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Peter answered and saith unto him, Thou art the Christ. This, this knowledge was revealed unto him. But he did not understand the meaning or the things of God or the, the revelation knowledge that what, why Jesus was speaking these words and uh, he did not understand the teaching of the Lord. This is a problem with the church today. It could be a hole in the church. A big empty place that has to be filled by the word of God, by the revelation knowledge of the Lord, the, 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 the son of most high God. Hallelujah. See there. And uh, he charged them that they should tell no man of him. Okay. And he began to teach them the son of man must suffer. <laughs> he was talking about his suffering first, his sufferings. He was talking about suffering and his resurrection, not resurrection, resurrection. You know, before resurrection, there shall take place of resurrection by the people in your life. You know that you are not just a raised man in Christ, along with Christ, but you are an overcomer. But to walk for, but before you become an overcomer, you must go through sufferings. Sufferings and rejection are of the plan of God in your life. Sufferings. Were from the plan of God in your life. This is what Peter did not understand. He must suffer and rejected. Suffer for many things and will be rejected of the elders, of the chief priests and scribes. And scribes. This is what Peter could not be able to understand. That's why he rebuked Jesus. It should not be like that, Lord, he said. But when he said immediately, Jesus rebuked Peter. That's the spirit of Saturn was working inside of Peter. Actually, he did not rebuke Peter. The spirit of Saturn, the spirit of demon, the spirit of dragon, the spirit of devil, or the deceiving 
a deceiver spirit, was working in the life of Peter at the time. And Jesus knew that. That's why he said him to get behind. Don't speak before me. Don't speak nonsense. You are speaking in the knowledge of people, men. And you are speaking naturally, not spiritually, supernaturally. You should speak in the knowledge of God. You should understand my speech, my preaching, my teaching, my words. That's what God, that's what Jesus expects from us. No, the things of God in your life are, 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 are then, then worship the Lord. Still, we do not know about the things of God. That be of God. Hallelujah. And here, word, what the word of God is speaking here. For those have rest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of men. Hallelujah. You know that. As he was talking on these particular things about sufferings, about death, about resurrection, let me talk on sufferings first now. The sufferings of Christ Jesus. Suffering will be taken, will be taken place in, in, in three areas. In many areas, but I just I don't have much more time to explain all these things. But Christ suffered for us. It is, it is, it is well known to us. But Christ's suffering are most probably in three major parts. That's number one is rejection. He was rejected from the elders, from the chief priests, from the scribes. by the scribes, by the priests, by the elders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the most important thing here? God loved the world so much and he gave his begotten son. He gave his begotten son to suffer by that to suffer for many things on the earth to be rejected by the elders to be rejected by uh, 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 the priests to be rejected by <laughs> scribes And today, by many people, by many religions, hallelujah, because still people are looking unto the Lord just like your religion. Jesus is a, 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 came from a, a foreign religion. That is what the Indians do understand, still add. Satan has blinded their eyes like this. Hallelujah. So this rejection must be there. You know that if you were rejected by people, it would remain as a suffering in your life. Because if you are rejected by your beloved people, your family, uh, uh, you know that Jesus loves 
Jesus loved everybody, everybody, because God is love. God is love. He, 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 that is why God loved the world so much. And he loved everyone. That the, even the enemy, even, even who hurted him, who beat him, who, who made, made him to suffer. He did not speak any wrong word or uh, 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 that against that who rebuked him or rejected him. Just kept silent. He just kept silent. Hallelujah. Rejection. Jesus was rejected by because of his teaching. Because of his preachings. That is why you know that today the mighty men of God and women of God remember this. You cannot impact anyone, any nation by your preaching. This is important. You can be a great speaker. But don't think that you, because of your speech, your message, your teaching style that impacts the nations. No. But the word impacts the nations. The word of God impacts the nations. Brings changing in the lives of people. Not your preaching, not your talent, not your knowledge, not your clever, cleverness. Hallelujah. Jesus was rejected by because of his teachings, by because of his preaching. People did not understand him. Then he says that about his, when he was addressing his father, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, or about the forgiveness, about the crucifixion, death, and suffering. People did not understand. The scribes, the elders, the priests, even the disciples did not understand these things from the Lord. That's why he was rejected. And they knew him as a son of Joseph Mary. But they don't know about Jesus as uh, the son of God. Christ, the Messiah. They have not believed that. They have not believed that. Hallelujah. That's the problem. That's the problem with the people, with the elders, with the priests, with the scribes. Because the spirit of the devil was working in them. Because the spirit of the demon, the dragon, the deceiver, do not like them to get the knowledge of Jesus, of the Son of God, and about his preachings, that what he's telling about God, God's kingdom, And many of his disciples even left him because of his teachings. The way that he speaks. Hallelujah. In book of John 6, when he speaks about 
about uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, about his blood and uh, body that those who show your words shall eat my flesh, my body, and drinks my blood shall live forever. I am the living bread. I am the bread that came from the heaven. And many who shall eat at my body and drink at my blood shall never die. Though he lives again, though he die. That's what he spoke there. But even his disciples did not understand and many people did not understand there. What? How we can eat his flesh? How we can drink his blood? They did not understand what Jesus spoke there, but it became true. Right now, we still are eating his body, drinking his blood. That's why we are having eternal life. That's the faith of Jesus, what he spoke. We believed in his words, we received his words. That's why we were surviving. That's why we are living on the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, listen to this. People did not understand because of Jesus, because of Jesus, uh, did not understand Jesus because of his teaching. And particular things on him, on himself. And he, when he revealed himself to the people, people, they did not catch up the things the way that Jesus has spoken to them. Even the disciples failed to receive his words. That's why they rejected Jesus. Did not believe. Rejection means did not believe in his words. Did not believe in his words. Hallelujah. What the word of God is speaking here. Luke 4, 22. They have uh, talked with each other. Um, let, let me read it for you, okay? And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, is not this Joseph's son? <laughs> when he was talking in the synagogues, when he has returned to Galilee, he was, he was speaking in the synagogues in Galilee, at Galilee. He was talking about the scriptures that are written in the book of Isaiah. See there. What? He is talking. Hallelujah. And he chose the book. He closed the book and he gave it again to, minister, to the minister and sat down at the, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened of him. When he was tongue, when he closed the book and gave it to the minister there. Hallelujah. And he started, he began to start, he began to speak, he began to preach, he began to teach the word of God, the written word of God. And they were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is the scripture full fell in your ears. You know, fulfilling in our ears. This is very important. This is very important. Hallelujah. This is very important. You know, the, 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 the scripture must be fulfilled in our ears. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Must be fulfilled in our ears. This day. That's why the salvation come by hearing. And by believing. By receiving. And confession. Must come. From the mouth. See ear. Heart. Mouth. Operates. In the kingdom realms. For your salvation. For your healing. For your deliverance. For your prosperity. For your provision. For your successful life. For your increase. For your growth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See here. And all bear him witness. And wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. He spoke wonderful things, glorious things, gracious things. That the priests or the ministers in the synagogue do not know about all these things that be of God. Hallelujah. They don't, they don't know about these things be, that be of God. But they still worship the Lord. They still read the word of God. They still teach the word of God. Church, remember, awaken. The way, how the way that you are worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ is important. I am speaking prophetically. From today, try to worship him by understanding his words, his teaching, his preaching, his heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We praise thee, we worship thee, Allah. Hallelujah. The gracious words came out of the mouth of Jesus. And they said, He's not this Joseph's son. They do know about him as the son of man and son of Joseph, son of Mary. That, the, that was the knowledge of people. That was the knowledge of men. That was not the, not the knowledge of God. You must come into a mind of God for understanding his things. The things shall not be fulfilled or manifested into your life unless you come to have the mind of God that to aware, that to know, or to acknowledge, or to understand the things that be of God. That's why you still remain as a less powerful Christianity, as a less blessed life on the earth. Hallelujah. I request you to take control over this, my friend. See here, I will conclude with this point, the first, first point as rejection. Okay. And then we'll go for speaking about uh, uh, two more things about uh, his sufferings, that how the people, uh, why the people uh, uh, rejected Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go into the book of Matthew, third chapter. Mm -hmm. And verses from 13 to 17. Okay. Jesus. Oh, okay. Matthew, third. Okay. Jesus, help me. Holy Spirit, help me, Lord. 
See, then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto the John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me. Okay. And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now. For thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. You know that why he suffered for things? Because of righteousness. Because of righteousness. You know, to keep up the righteousness of God, we must suffer for many things. We must suffer for many things. Hallelujah. That's true, my friends. That is very true. What the word of God is speaking in the book of Psalm 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many of, many are, many are the afflictions or the sufferings of the righteous. But the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. <laughs> the righteous people shall have many sufferings or, or many uh, afflictions. Bargerings. You know, we suffer for keeping the righteousness. Baptism is dying, suffering, suffering, losing things from our lives, leaving many things for Christ Jesus. Rejection from the people, from the elders, from the priests, from the scribes, from this world, but you know that from all the family members, from all beloved people, Rejection is a pain. Even we, we, even we, sometimes at a particular point of time, even Jesus was. Do you know that? I will talk on that. You know, when when he was on the cross, he prayed and called his Father, "Why thou hast forsaken me?" Hallelujah. See here, my friends. So here, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. He saw the Spirit of God. And uh, like a dove and lightning upon him. And the law, a voice from heaven, saying, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. His father, God, the Almighty, was witnessing unto the Lord from the heaven, by sending forth a, his voice to the people that they were on the earth, at the Jordan River, in the time of Jesus' baptism, that he is not a, he is not the son of Joseph, he is not the son of Mary. He is he is my son, my beloved son. He is my beloved son. You know, when he saw the Holy Spirit that descending upon him, a dove, like a dove, and lightning, that must come to the people unless and until the believers must be filled with the Holy Ghost or seen the Spirit of God in their lives 
until that time they cannot understand who the lord is how 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 jesus is the son of god but until that time we remain as sharing uh, we, we we allow sharing to rule over our lives by not knowing the things that be of god that's why be filled with the holy spirit jesus was known as the son of god when he was filled with the holy spirit over there the whole creature is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of god my friends because they shall reveal the things that be of god hallelujah that is why my friends receive him as the son of god grow up in the knowledge of the son of god understand his teachings understand understand his preachings one more thing that i would like to tell and conclude this session hebrews 4 chapter no 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 or it can go above ah i think that luke 23 Luke twenty three, verse from forty four, forty four to forty seven. Okay, bear with me for five minutes. Okay, my friends, book of Luke twenty three, forty four to forty seven. Hallelujah. Okay, twenty-three. Is this okay? And Jesus said unto him, "Verily I say unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise." And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And he and the sun was darkened, and the day and the veil of the temple was rent into the midst. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, "Father." into my in, into thy hands i commend my spirit and having said thus he gave up the coast okay now when the centurion saw what was done listen to this at the cross when he gave up his ghost or spirit unto his father unto his father's hand hallelujah hallelujah the centurion saw what was done he glorified god hallelujah he glorified god saying certainly this was a righteous man Suddenly, this was a righteous man. Suddenly, this was the Son of God. The righteous man means Son of God. Those who shall believe in Jesus shall be called His children. God gave him, them the authority to be called as children of God. And those who shall receive the Holy Ghost, they shall be known as the sons of God. Hallelujah. they shall be called as righteous by their faith by keeping the power of the holy ghost hallelujah and the centurion the roman centurion the roman soldier or uh, the officer come to know jesus as a righteous man is not a man of flesh and blood but he is a man of god he is a son of god 
and he saw the darkness over all the earth. Hallelujah. Mm. And the sun was darkened and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. A big sound, a big lighting came, thunder came over there. Now the centurion was done. He glorified God. He glorified God. And he come to know him into the knowledge, into the things of God. Be at cross. You will come to know the Lord. Be at cross, my friend. And see the Lord there. His glory, his righteousness. Jesus did not, Peter, Peter did not understand his, his cross life, his righteous life. His precious life. His sonship. Because see, Peter was not at the cross, he left. The same Peter was crucified also. He gave himself to the cross. Hallelujah! He was cross reversely. And the people wanted to crucify him, Peter. Peter, Peter denied to be crucified like Jesus. But he said that Crucify me by reversing me, not like Jesus. Because I am not much holy like Jesus. He is the one that is, no one can take his place forever. He gave his coast also. He gave his soul, his life for Jesus. He suffered for Jesus. Peter suffered for Jesus. And he said in his epistles to resist the devil of the Syrian, he was coming like a roaring lion to swallow up you. Resist the devil. Now then he understood why Jesus rebuked him. He totally understood the emotion or the expression of the feeling, deep meaning of Jesus. That all the emotions, expressions, feelings, words of the Lord Jesus is be of God. That's why he is telling us to rebuke the Satan or the devil, the dragon, the deceiver. Because said always wants to offer us a crossless life. Said do not like us to go unto cross. Unto the cross. Unto the cross. Because at cross, the devil was defeated. Come unto the cross. And no, Jesus. And his righteousness and his power, his glory at the cross. And the things of God, the be of God at the cross. The Lord shall be revealed. You know that at the cross he has seen the earth was darkened. The veil was divided. From the heaven to earth. Hallelujah. And the sun was dark. The veil of the temple was rent. Into the midst. And he. Handed his ghost. Into the hands of God. He, 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 
he obeyed God's plan, purpose, will at the cross. God's plan in Christ Jesus shall be revealed to anyone, to everyone. That's why when he was talking about his sufferings and, and, uh, and his death and crucifixion, they will work in the life of Peter to, de, to, to rebuke Jesus. Immediately, Jesus rebuked Peter to get behind him. Come before to the cross. That's it. To keep up your sacrificial life, to keep up the righteousness of God, of Jesus, and to know the things that be of God. Hallelujah. May God bless you, my friends. This is the first part of um, this beautiful sermon. And uh, be known to the knowledge uh, uh, of God. And be mindful about the things that be of God. Hallelujah. Don't, don't, think, don't think like people think. Don't have the people's knowledge. But have, uh, <clears throat> uh, but have the knowledge of God. May God bless you. And this is Kumar signing off. Hallelujah. Let me pray and conclude this session, my friends. Hallelujah. Gracious Heavenly Holy Father, help the people to understand the things that be of God. And deliver them out of the knowledge of the men, people, this world, Help them to come at your cross, stand at your cross, see you on the cross. To know your righteousness and to keep your righteousness in their lives and to know the things of God, the God's plan, God's purpose, God's will in your life so that people can grow in the knowledge of the Son of Most High God and they can be Blessed on this earth with the things of God, with the knowledge of the Son of Most High God, Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, help us to grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. We give you all glory and honor and bless every family that those who view today this message in the live broadcasting, the Zoom meeting, in the YouTube or in uh, uh, Facebook Live. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. May the love of God and the grace of our dear Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Deliverer, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy, Holy, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, shall be abiding with us now and forever and ever and ever. Amen. May God bless you, my friends. This is Kumar. Uh, signing off or taking off uh, off to the catching of the family things here or the the things of God uh, in India. Please keep prayers for us. Um, uh, a, a, a two more special requests to you that we have your fresh vision uh, recently that to mobilize and increase the body of Jesus Christ by reaching out a uh, uh, by reaching out with his knowledge with his teaching knowledge. Um, to empower the church uh, leaders, pastors, a thousand pastors in India within these three, within these upcoming three months. So we want to go and organize 20 seminars uh, with pastors' families. Each, fa each seminar will contain your 50 pastors' families. So we would like to organize 10 pastors' uh, uh, seminars in the south and in the north, the other 10 in the north India. So, so if we go with uh, each, each seminar with the 50 pastors' families, then we can reach out at least a thousand pastors' families uh, uh, within, uh, within these 20 seminars so that we can empower them, exalt them, profit the saints, uh, do the ministry work and uh, edify the church because we have the responsibility of that. Because the devil wants to come in, get into the uh, ministry of the church and wants to play uh, roles uh, of, the, of his authority, power, or wants to 
of God, uh, uh, steal the glory and the power of God in the church as well. That's what we don't like. We just wanted to empower the church, edify the church, perfect the saints, and we want to go like this. And we want to support these fam pastors' family with some loving gifts of God and as well to, the, to, to their widows or orphans in the church as well. Please pray for this and uh, get involved with us. You are so much welcome to uh, teach the word along, along with uh, uh, the ministry work. Uh, you can come into Zoom, you can come into Skype. Uh, I can interpret for your message, uh, but you have to support with uh, prayers and also with finances uh, to organize the seminars. This is a beautiful invitation uh, from uh, uh, the leading of the Holy Spirit unto you. You could please keep praise for this and get involved, involved with us. Please let us know how the Lord leads, inspires your hearts for doing this. And as well, and uh, and the request for uh, from us to, you know that we have been in the ministry for full time uh, over 18 years, since 18 years. Uh, and uh, we still uh, don't have a church building for running the worship services to our with our church. And as well, we don't have a pastor's quarters or house building to live with my family. We live in the rented houses and shifting houses is making much problem. And uh, we have a small little bit of land beside of this house so that we wanted to go for building, for constructing a double floor building so that we can use one floor for our living with family and the other floor for running the worship services like uh, um, uh, fasting prayers on Friday or Sunday services on uh, uh, worship services on Sunday and uh, 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 like uh, two meetings or like um, um, uh, like uh, uh, <clears throat> seminars or uh, prayer meetings in the church. Uh, <clears throat> Actually, our reason is for having a 10 acres land as a blessing for a mission campus, for uh, constructing a, um, a church building or, or for a chapel house uh, or, or a Bible school or a, uh, orphanage or widow, or a widow home or a pastor's quarters inside of the campus. and. Uh, so that we can get that uh, 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 until that time. You know that uh, to get 10, 10 acres land, it is uh, not impossible by God, but uh, until we get a bigger land, we just wanted to survive with family and with the church. Uh, 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 that's why we are seeking of God's will uh, to go with construction for a double floor building so that we can live freely, we can worship the Lord until we get a uh, bigger land, 10 acres land for mission campus, either in this town or a little far from this town. That's why please keep prayers for this building project. Um, thanks for understanding these things uh, and stand with us in in, in agreement, in our faith, in prayer, and please keep support us with your uh, endless prayers. Love you, God bless you, and our, our, we know we are trusting God for every blessing, that every blessing must come from the, the Lord, from God, from the heaven. So we look unto him, we are trusting, our blessings are on the way, and, we're, and God is so good to us, God is, loving us. He never um, ignored us. He does know every position, condition, situation that we are passing through. And we are praising God for that. And uh, we are looking unto God faithfully for the manifestation of everything in our lives. For our property, for our provision, for our ministry transportation, for our mission campus, for our projects, for our building projects, for our, our, our family lives and sustainable lives uh, for our establishment. We are praising God, honoring God in advance for doing every manifestation 
on our lives according to his calling and vision on our lives may god bless you we speak blessings over your nations over your families over your ministries please pray for us if god inspires you please let us know that how we can work with you for the expansion of the kingdom of god or for advancing the gospel in india or in the rest of the world may god bless my friends bye bye take care you can you, you can write to us at our email pastor kumar p a s t o r pastor kumar k u m a r pastor kumar 25 or 25 pastor kumar 25 at gmail.com p a s t o r k u m a r 25 at gmail.com or you can text me in facebook or you can text me in my whatsapp at uh, plus 919908 Seven three one six seven seven. Once again, plus nine one nine nine o eight seven three one six seven seven. May God bless you, my friends. You can send your prayer request as well, so that we can pray, stand with you in an agreement in prayers. God bless you. Love you. Bye bye. Take care.